Hey, what's up everybody? Haskins here with another awesome build tutorial for you. Yes, today we will be showing you how to build this amazing hovercraft slash UFO. I don't really know what you want to call it, but it's a very unique design and let me explain. So the first unique feature is majority of these mechanical components, including the balloons and thrusters, are tucked away on the inside of the actual ship. The only thrusters that are exposed are actually on the bottom, which are going to be used for turning right and left. And for my personal favorite features of this ship is that it is designed to where it's going to lift up off the ground and once it reaches a particular altitude, it is going to self tilt forward and start to travel at 15 meters per second. And one thing I always like to point out, what works today might not work tomorrow. It is LEGO Fortnite after all. There are so many hot fixes and different little updates and bugs that just come out of nowhere. So please don't blame me if you have any problems with this. However, I would be happy. Let me know in the comments if you're having any issues and I would be glad to help any way possible. I also want to give a shout out to T Stapes, who's another creator. I'm going to link his channel in the description. I did see a video where he built something similar. However, I do believe this is a much more improved design. All right, so definitely no better place to start building this thing than in the middle of a crop field, right? We got the UFOs hanging out. And as you can see, I have a couple of them just chilling here because they're that easy to build. This is going to be a great vehicle that you can put together very fast and also build some for your friends that jump into your map. All right, so the, for the first step of this build, all we need to do is move on over to toys. But we're going to go under the vehicle parts section and we're going to drop down a large car jack. Now, the next step we're going to do is just going to snap a vehicle base 11 up on top. I suggest building stairs on both sides of the foundation. That's going to give you a nice, easy way to jump up and work on this ship. So the next step of this build, we're going to go over to our roof pieces and make our way down to this Kawara Roof 6. Now, for anybody who saw my video on my semi truck knows that I absolutely love this piece and it does very well when building different types of vehicles. Now, the important thing here is you're just going to want to make sure that that little brown block on the bottom there is exposed because we're going to be adding some thrusters to that here in just a little bit. Now, the next step is you're just going to use the exact same piece and you're going to want to rotate this a bit and we're going to snap it into the other piece just like that. Now, if you've done the spacing on the front and left that little block exposed, you will have this other one perfectly hanging off out the side. Now that those pieces are joined together, it's time to start building out the interior mechanical parts. Now, this can become a little tedious, so follow these steps and you'll be just fine. So we're going to go back to our toys under controls where we're going to only be using these small thrusters here. The idea is to have these as close to this outside edge as possible without hanging over. So the way we're going to do this is just have it where it's red and then nudge it into spaces and then keep this one lined up right here and we're going to do the same thing towards the other side. So nudge it over until it's red and then come back to spaces. And then from here, we're going to move over to the right until it turns red and then just nudge it back one space. Now from here, we're going to start to nudge this thing towards us and do the exact same philosophy that we use there. So turn it red, nudge it forward two, and we're good to go. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to start to place some thrusters on this underneath part here. So if you have some problems with that, what I suggest doing is backing out of the actual build piece, going back into your menu and kind of resetting there. And then we're going to try to line it up right on this underneath part here towards the front end of this Kawara Ridge 6 piece. And we're just going to nudge it on over until it's green. Now we're going to make sure to same thing here, turn it red. And then we're going to move it in to spaces and then we're going to do the same thing towards the other side. Now, again, this can be very, very touchy. So just mess around with it and you should be able to get it. No problem. So again, turn it red, nudge it back to and place it down just like that. Now we're going to do the exact same thing over here on the other side. Now, one thing I do want to mention while I'm zipping through this last part is these all just default to channel three. So we're just going to leave these ones alone. No tuning required. Now that we've got all of the thrusters in, we're simply going to move over to the toy section under general and grab these small balloons. Now the placement in the front is going to be slightly different in the back, but the way we're going to do this is line them up against the wall like that. And then we're going to nudge it forward a space and then we're going to start moving over four spaces. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and we're going to place down a balloon. And then we're just going to move over one, two, three spaces. And then from here, we're just going to move one, two spaces like that. Then we're going to move back till we have this one lined up directly in front of the first balloon we placed. So now we have four in the front where you should have four little Lego piece uh, knobs sticking up on both sides. And then we're going to move to the back side here and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to line it up 
with the outer edge just like this. Now, sometimes doing the placement of these balloons can be tricky, so just be patient. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move up one like that, or over one, I'm sorry. Then we're gonna move forward one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna move one, two, three spaces. And then this time, rather than just nudging it over till it turns green, we're gonna nudge it one additional space, just like that. And then we're gonna bring this one back right in front of the first balloon that we placed. So the front and back should be looking like this. They're all gonna be evenly lined up. However, the difference here is in the back. We're gonna have these balloons a little bit closer to the back with that additional space. And what the purpose of this is, is when you start to take off and get towards the sky, the back end is slowly going to rise, creating that tilt, which is going to allow you to move forward pretty quickly without having any thrusters on the outside and the back of the thing to move you in the forward direction section. We're gonna come on down to these Kawara Gable twos. And we're gonna snap these in just like that. Now, if you're unable to snap those in, most likely you might have one of these thrusters hanging off. Simply punch that thing out and put another one in to make sure it's in the right position. And then you're gonna take the same piece and drop it on the other side like this. And then we're gonna move on over to the opposite Koara uh, Gable two. And we're gonna put these just like this, whoops. Now, we are seriously almost done with this build already, but again, pay attention because this is where we're gonna add the turning thrusters and the tuning of these is gonna be extremely important if you want this thing to operate very well. So the reason I had you expose these little blocks hanging off the front earlier is because it's gonna be critical in making sure that we can add these additional thrusters. So again, we're gonna make our way back to toys on our controls and we're just gonna simply place, well, maybe not so simply, sometimes this can be very frustrating, but you're gonna get these to line up right on the block, just like that. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get these all nice and put on these in the exact same direction, just like that. Now they are hanging off a bit, which looks a little weird, but trust me, when you're in the sky or this thing's parked on the ground here, you can't even see them at all. So once you've got all of those in on that direction, for organization purposes, we're actually going to grab our wrench and we're gonna start to tune these things. Now, as I said earlier, when you have the default setting is channel three, we're gonna cut these off channel three and we're gonna place them all on channel two. Now, the way this turning is gonna work is that we're gonna actually put another set of three on the other side, but we're gonna change those tunings to channel one. But before we do that, I kinda wanna just show you exactly the whole methodology and science behind these particular thrusters and how we're going to have the front ones and the back ones be offset from each other to assist with much faster turning. So these are all set to two. We're gonna do another set going in the opposite direction. So in this case, we're gonna go back to these small thrusters and we're gonna follow the same exact placement, but these ones again are gonna go in the opposite direction of the ones we just placed in the front. However, we are actually going to tune these to channel two as well. So the reason for that is if you're hitting channel two, these ones are gonna force the front end this way and these ones are gonna force the back end that way. So they're working in tandem to give you a much quicker turning radius for something that's a little bit heavy in the final result. So for these ones again in the back, we're gonna get rid of channel three and hit channel two for every single one of them. All right, so the last thing we need to do for turning is obviously we're going to just install some small thrusters on the opposite sides here. And this time, rather than actually tuning them to channel two, we're gonna tune these to channel one. Then we're gonna make our way around to the back side of this and we're gonna do the exact same thing.
All right, so now that we've got all of our mechanicals complete on this thing, it's time to bring this down to the ground so we can finish putting on the seats and the lights in the front. So just get rid of any stairs that you have built up. And then all you need to do from there is just start punching out the bottom of this block here because we're not going to need that. And this should automatically cause the jack to crumble as well. So now you can see this thing has come down to the ground nice and safely. All of our thrusters are still intact. Now, the only other thing you can do is if you're a little bit worried, and I haven't tested this because I haven't needed to, but you could also have gone and try to put some wheels on the bottom to assist with more of a soft landing. But again, I haven't found that to be necessary. So the next part is very important because if we don't place these seats exactly where they need to go, the tilt on this and allowing it to move forward once it peaks out in the sky is not going to work properly. So pay close attention. So we're just going to grab the large driver's seat here. And you can see where there's that little bump out on the right and left side of that llama's head. We're going to want to make sure that that is exposed. So the way we're going to line this up is we're going to just place this seat right here, making sure that the steering wheel is moving forward. And the way to tell is if you nudge it back like this, it turns red. Just nudge it forward one spaces and just make sure it's actually hugging that little hump that's right there in the center of that piece up top there. And then from here, you can do one of two things. We need to counterbalance the weight on that seat. You can put another large driver's seat here. The only problem with that is if you do have a passenger who's gonna be messing with you, they can also start controlling the thrusters from this seat. So what I recommend doing is if you plan on bringing passengers with you, go ahead and go to your furniture section where you can go into seats and you can come down here and grab a large vehicle seat. Now the way we're gonna space this out is very similar. We're just gonna line it up where the back is actually lined up with the other seat and we're just gonna nudge it forward a space just like this. And then last but not least, we're gonna go back over to our toys under the vehicle parts and we're just gonna grab these angle of light bars and we're gonna put two of them lined up right on the front here. So we're gonna do one and two like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We go one and two. Now, sometimes you'll notice when you place these down, they get little, like really funky like that. So all you need to do is just knock these things off if that happens to you and just reset and try to get this placed back down in the right spot. Now, it can be a little frustrating at times. I don't know why these things are the way they are, but do the same thing over here. I misplaced it. We're gonna knock that off and we're just simply gonna go place another one down. Well, I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I have. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, I have so many other awesome build tutorials out there I think you'll enjoy. Make sure you check those out. This is Haskins signing off. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I will catch you in the next one.